Hey runners, Thursday, December 5th, and I did five miles this morning. It's a beautiful day, uh, 55 degrees just before sunrise. Uh, this morning I started out at, uh, we have a, a small little park a few miles down from our house, uh, Desert Foothills. I decided to uh, park there and then just uh, uh, run nearby and uh, go down this one. Uh, it's a pretty new road, really smooth, and uh, went two and a half out and uh, two and a half back. And uh, yeah, good run. Uh, overall pace was 843, 844. The cadence is about 172, which is good. However, when I was looking at the watch uh, on a regular basis, uh, you know, since I'm really trying to focus on getting the turnover and increasing uh, my cadence and strides, or shorten and stride and increase the cadence, I, I noticed that the uh, strides per minute was hovering. Uh, anywhere between like 170 to 177, so I guess that's close enough. I thought it was going to be a little bit higher on the average, but uh, nonetheless, it is uh, ticking in the upper direction, which is where I want to go. Uh, on average, I used to be about 165 to 166. Uh, over the past maybe two months that I've been at it, I'm probably closer to the 171 mark. So yeah, it's an improvement, but I uh, still would like to get closer to 175 uh, if possible. So yeah, today was a great run. Um, my goal today really was just to go out kind of easy, but uh, for me, 844 is uh, a little quicker than easy. I just felt good after that first mile. Um, it is a little bit of a downhill uh, start for the first uh, about half mile and then uh, it's still just slightly down uh, not much after that and uh, I kept up with it the first mile was uh, 840 I believe 844 and so I felt good and I kept at it and uh, didn't do any miles slower than 850 so I wanted to keep up with it um, felt good overall my heart rate was hovering about 141 on average. Now, the heart rate that I use is uh, the, I believe there it's called optical off the wrist, which is good, um, but not as uh, consistent or reliable as the um, heart rate strap that um, I also have, which I haven't used in quite some time. Um, it's a little, uh, just, a little bulky um, and I just I guess I just lazy <laughs> and and don't really put it on uh, when I have it on the wrist it's it's fairly accurate although sometimes it's really off by quite a bit um, but I was checking uh, my heart rate manually as well with the watch um, what I do is I count for 10 seconds and multiply that number by six and that gives me a fairly rough average plus or minus, you know, five or six beats. So 141 is about 82% of my theoretical uh, max heart rate. Um, and uh, you get that basically by taking 220 minus your age. So for someone who's say 20 years old, which I am not, I'm much older, but just as an example, if you take your age, if you're 20, you minus that from 220, and that gives you 200. So that is your uh, approximate max heart rate would be 200 for a 20-year-old. So for me, my max is 170. I'm 50. Um, so 82, that probably sounds about right. Uh, there were times where I was higher, and then, of course, in the beginning, I was lower. But I feel great. Uh, I've got a mile race coming up at the track in two days. It'll be my first ever mile race. So, um, yeah, I want to go into it healthy and feeling good, which uh, I am. And uh, le definitely looking forward to it. So, anyways, uh, yeah, that's it for the run. Um, great morning. Looks like pretty good weather. Uh, we were supposed to have some rain overnight, 
which I don't think it happened because the like, roads were pretty dry. But um, it always makes for a nice, uh, nice run when and when you don't have the rain and it's clear skies. Well, that's about it. I hope you have a great day, and thanks for watching. As always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below, and also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed to get uh, up-to-date uh, footage and content on my running. Love to hear from you and let me know what you are doing when it comes to your running, and if you have any questions on training and such, be more than happy to answer them. Thanks, and have a great day.